So instead of saying, you know, get, get down, you have to say, get down. You know, get so down. you have to kind of like, hi, I'm Harold and I'm the father. The father. The father. Of eight billion people on earth. <laughs> yeah, do more. Go do it. Yes. Now. Yeah. Yes, I love you. Crush I it. You. Yeah. <laughs> love you. Welcome to our channel where we bring you the latest on your favorite celebrities, films, and TV shows, and we're not afraid to get a little sassy while doing it. In this video, we revisit the humorous instances of Monica Barbaro and Arnold Schwarzenegger during their promotional tour for Netflix's FUBAR series. It's evident that they share great on-screen chemistry and had a blast while shooting the movie. What is the difference between those two men, Monica? Besides age? <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 it's true. 15 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Right off the top. <laughs> yeah. Tom is still a young kid. He's only 60. <laughs> yeah. And he seems like he's 30. He's yeah. got all the energy. This is huge. It is read by so many people. I've been on a lot of covers, but this one is without any doubt the most recent. <laughs> I sort of tried to like mesh some version of the impersonation we all know. Let and me love hear it. And, like, I gotta hear it. You wanna do my? Do you wanna do me? No, just just do what he says. I mean, Wait, just, how did you help me get into down. it? We we'll get down. Yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger shared in an interview that he is disappointed with death, but he has not gone to great lengths to extend his life. He has not tried any cosmetic procedures or followed any fleeting trends. While he did seek advice from aging experts at UCLA and asked about reversing the aging process, he was told that no such breakthroughs have been made. He thinks that a well-balanced diet and consistent exercise are crucial for longevity, despite his occasional indulgence in cigars. Overall, he strives to maintain a healthy lifestyle to offset any unhealthy habits. Yeah, it, exactly. Get you, down. Get down. Yeah, exactly. There you have it. Yeah. Get to the chopper. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That became a thing that we all said. Get him through the job. Well, day one, I show up and he has sunglasses that say, I'll be back across the front of them. <laughs> that was pretty iconic. I was like, okay, I need a pair of those. Um, we also all started to just repeatedly say, get down. And he started it, actually. He, Because <laughs> he was helping me get into his accent and like how people you know, imitate it comedically. Monica Barbro is currently undergoing vocal and guitar training to prepare for her role as Joan Baez in the upcoming Bob Dylan biopic, A Complete Unknown, starring Timothy Chalamet. It's interesting to note that before entering the acting field, Monica was a ballerina and had studied dance at Tisch School of the Arts. And uh, yeah, that became a thing that everybody, especially Fortune, would just double down on, get down. Yeah, I mean, I was like on the set, getting ready for my scene, and all of a sudden she she screams. You know, it, I was literally about to get to this action, and she started screaming loud, "Get to the chopper!" <laughs> I said, to you, "Are you a chess wizard? I didn't know that about you." No, no. I mean, in all fairness, I'm a mediocre a chess player. Arnold is such a committed chess player that on his birthday, the cast. We all went into his trailer with desserts and cigars in our mouths and singing him happy birthday. Monica Barbaro sees a valid comparison between the pivot from dance and Arnold Schwarzenegger's pivot from bodybuilding. Although Monica cannot claim the same level of accomplishment in ballet as Arnold did in bodybuilding, she acknowledges that achieving a high level of success in any field requires attention to detail and awareness of the standards of that field. Monica believes that Arnold would have succeeded in any industry he chose to transition into due to his unique vocal quality, energy, and charisma. And singing him happy birthday, and he looked up <laughs> and looked back down at his chess game and wouldn't come out until he was done. I was in the middle of a game, almost losing the game, so I had to stay focused. I had to visualize myself as a winner. But I said, please, can you leave right now? I am about to lose. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hey guys. Hi. Hey, it's a good to see you. Come on, get your act together. He's on a phone. Monica Barbaro was asked during an interview if she had any favorite stories from the set. She shared that one day of shooting an action sequence in a warehouse was particularly challenging due to extreme heat and long hours. Despite feeling completely exhausted with cramping muscles, the experience was ultimately satisfying. In fact, it turned out to be one of the most enjoyable days on set because everyone felt a sense of accomplishment and earned their pay. You were so mad he was late. I was like, whoa. I feel like, you like there is the answer. What's up, man? Good to see you. I'm so glad that you asked that question. So I was up on top of the roof upside down and then all of a sudden when I, let the, uh, when I switched off the magnet, I fell down and I really banged up my head. Okay, so that's what I learned very quickly. During the filming, Arnold Schwarzenegger had some slip-ups that caused frustration for the director. However, Monica Barbero brought in a new element of surprise in each take, which made Arnold laugh and even break character. The director eventually asked Arnold to settle down for a serious scene with a CIA psychiatrist, and they managed to capture it successfully. Nonetheless, they still had fun improvising, and the spontaneous moment of the door slam added to the enjoyment on set. That when you give in to a daughter, it could be very, <laughs> yeah. it could be very painful at the same time. I'm all about let me go, but I'm not thinking about the fact that you're gonna fall. Yeah, exactly. That's right. You know, so, 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 you know, but to her, she was more at risk. She feeds my dog so much food. I had that one day at night. I had Wiener Schnitzel. Not and you know, even though even though I don't eat that much meat anymore, but when I have a Wiener Schnitzel, I eat it. During an interview, Arnold Schwarzenegger expressed admiration for Monica Barbro's remarkable acting abilities and dedication to her work. The two collaborated on a series for the first time, and despite facing challenges such as chilly nights and uncomfortable costumes, Monica never once complained. Arnold was impressed by her infectious energy that elevated their performance, underscoring the significance of working with a committed and responsive acting partner. Yeah. Okay, this is it. And I just mean this. And this dog who doesn't get any food from her because all she's thinking about on the set is my scene, my next scene. I have to be good with my scene. And the dog is sitting and doesn't get any food for 12 hours. So I give the dog <laughs> a little bit of Wiener Schnitzel. Gentle touch. Freshly made, may I remind you, okay? It was really good meat, lean. And so I give it to the dog. So yeah. now he's coming to my trailer. Every day he's coming to my trailer. So she gets jealous. She says, why is he spending more time with you than with me? I said, well, because I take care of the dog. I mean, this I is- feed my dog. Okay. Oh, he gained, he gained like 10 pounds. And it was a great pleasure working with Monica, even though she was uh, not always the most cooperative, I have to say, so. But I mean, she, she she was very, very good, very talented. But you know, because you told them I'm we, talented, we, so now they know. It's an ancient artifact. Wow. Monica Barbro has shared her experience of working with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Tom Cruise, highlighting their contrasting styles. While Tom Cruise is inquisitive and likes to understand every detail, Arnold Schwarzenegger prefers to trust the process without asking too many questions. Despite their differences, both actors are well-prepared, hardworking, and respectful of the crew's time. Both actors exhibit professionalism and treat everyone with respect, without any diva behavior. Overall, Monica feels fortunate to have worked with such dedicated individuals who were focused on accomplishing the work at hand. It's in there now. Now it's playing. It is actually playing. But you're right, it's ancient. That, I mean, it was like totally like out of nowhere. <laughs> there was a line in the script that said, he, first of all, he had said chopper or choppa in a scene. And I could see all of our crew like, Get, get it. They became 10 year old boys again. It was like hilarious. I hope the yelling is okay. In real life, my daughters yell at me. Then I go to the set and then she's playing my daughter and yells at me. Yeah. I said, Mr. Well, what is going cool. on here <laughs> with this new generation? <laughs> I mean, it's like there's no, no respect anymore there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Just pull that right there. I'll 
see you later.